So tell me how it's different from the infrastructure perspective. So when you said that you, when you have a dedicated architecture for for inference mm -hmm. versus training, what, yeah. actually, what what is the baggage that training brings along that you don't need in inference? And what are the things that you need in inference that you don't get in the other architectures that are tuned for training? Yeah, yeah. So at a very high level uh, set, I think uh, it's performance versus efficiency, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll break it down for you uh, as as I answer that question. So what what I mean by that is. When you look at training, uh, training is fundamentally a performance oriented workload, uh, which is, you know, so there's a lot of emphasis on, on scale and performance. And, uh, you know, it's all about training a model as fast as you can train the model, because the longer it takes to train a model, the more dollars you spend. So people are trying to train it as fast as possible, which is all about performance. How quickly can you get this done? Lots of compute has to be thrown at the problem. The models, as they got bigger and bigger, uh, you needed to support a lot of scale out. So you need to support a lot of networking across multiple. So there's thousands of GPUs these days to train an AI model of typically a frontier model, you know, you know, needs tens of thousands of GPUs. Yeah. So how do you take tens of thousands of GPUs with lots of compute, connect them together using a lot of networking, uh, then build all the orchestration software to support a workload that has to be broken across all these different GPUs. They're all supposed to be kept in sync so that as the model is training, different parts of the model are all kept in sync. Uh, there is just a lot of software orchestration, a lot of networking, a lot of uh, compute, uh, that has to be, and then, you know, with it comes the, the, the second order challenges, which is, you know, how do you cool all those GPUs and how do you mm -hmm. supply power to all those GPUs? And, mm -hmm. and, and so the scale of the problem is very, very different. This problem is very, very different. It's a very costly problem for most companies. And, uh, and there's a lot of, you know, you know, bleeding edge tech that has to be introduced into the solution uh, to keep that going. Right now, yeah. now inference is very, very different because again, inference is an efficiency problem. So there, you're not necessarily building, uh, you know, a solution with thousands and thousands of GPUs. What you're trying to do is you're taking a model that has already been trained. Uh, in many cases, you're distilling that model down. So you are actually kind of shrinking it in size. And uh, what people are finding out that a model that is distilled down from a very large model tends to be as capable and uh, can do most tasks really well.